Hey, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com, and it's Saturday, uh, November 28th. I want to wish everybody again a happy Thanksgiving. I um, hope that you had um, a nice time with your family and friends. Okay, um, I was looking at just kind of doing some work this weekend, and I saw this stock, and I wanted to just get this video out to you. But first, let me mention again that we're right in the middle of our Black Friday sale. If you have not tried options, I highly recommend High Octane Options. It's a DVD set um, of a course that I taught uh, not too long ago on how to trade options. And um, I think the course is awesome. Of course I do because I'm the one that put it together. And we have marked that down to the lowest price that you'll ever see it because we want to encourage you um, to try options. If you are not a member of OptionMarketMentor.com, when you buy the course, you'll also get a free 30-day trial to that as well. So there's really no downside for you um, to be doing this. The course is, I, I don't even know the price because by design, I don't get into that stuff. That's, that's Gary, my brother. Um, that's his uh, part of the business. I just do the stock analysis, but I know it's a super low price, so I want you to check that out. Seriously, check it out. Now, with AOS here. This is a really bullish pattern, okay, this, the, and earnings are not an issue. They don't report earnings until January. So here's what I'm looking at. Um, first of all, the downside for us is the stock is extended a bit above the 200-day moving average, over 17%. If we look at the, just kind of spitballing here, we look at the last high where the stock rolled over, okay, it went up 25% above this 200 day moving average back here 23 percent and and it just kind of kept going so at 17 percent i still look at this as kind of high but relative to where this stock has traded in the past not really also this is and i always laugh when i get um when when i get a video telling me that i'm full of crap um on this there is no such thing as a head and shoulder continuation pattern their reversal patterns well that's right they are except for the times that they're not <laughs> this is a head and shoulder continuation pattern where there is an uptrend lower low we like to see lower highs and I'll tell you why in just a second okay then we get a rally back up to wherever it goes to here and I'm talking I'm showing the closing prices not uh, not this thing so we get a lower low here then we get a big sell-off. This is, so far, all this is is a lower low still, a gap in reverse, and then a move higher to a lower high. Now we're looking at a potential head and shoulder pattern, guy standing on his head, and then we see a move higher. Now we've got a neckline, the distance between these two points. You can use this one, whatever. So this is our neckline. And the idea is that if we take the low here, we'll say 50 bucks up to the neckline, and I'm just going to say 73. Okay, so that's 23 points that we're seeing from the very low up to what turns out to be the neckline. So once we see this breakout here, we take from this level here, we see the breakout here, at, we'll say, what did I say, 73 bucks? Okay, so then we add 23 bucks to that. 93, 94, 95, 96. So we're looking at an upside target here of 96 bucks. And so that would be my analysis on AOS. So we're looking for, for an upside target of $96. There is no time frame on this. That's the whole thing. There's no time frame on this. It's just from a technical standpoint, there's a $96 target on this. Um, I think this is a stock. Any kind of pullback at all, you want to be buying this stock. But look for more upside from this. Just again, know that it's still a little bit extended, um, but the pattern looks really good. Also, love this little consolidation. And by the way, I mentioned at the outset, we like the downtrending necklines. And that is because once the pattern is, is uh, completed, in other words, the neckline is broken, we're at a lower price. So the stock is at a lower price, which by definition gives us a lower entry point than 
if we had a neckline up this way where now we've got to wait for a breakout here when the stock is already overbought so we look for this type of stuff and also the point is of this video not just that AOS is a good buy right now the point is that you look for these head and shoulder continuation patterns and you pounce on them on the initial breakout hang on let me draw this you know on the initial breakout either here or after this little throwback and then a move to the upside uh, bottom line is if you'd seen this pattern you could be in at 73 72 bucks very very early in the breakout and already have a nice trade so watch for this kind of pattern 